everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Challenge Runs in the Binding of Isaac. Got another TF2 themed run, and man, I'm getting a lot of mileage out of these suggestions from uh, YouTube users Maddie2Cat and Shadowfuse. Uh, but I like these runs a lot. This is the heavy run. So to make ourselves fat, you know, a little bit big bone like the heavy from TF2, we've got two buckets of lard here, uh, which also gives us a ton of HP. We have a lot of advantages in our favor, I'm not gonna mince words there. We also have uh, number one, which make, gives us like minimum range, and we have two of the pentagram, and I took the liberty of giving a sad onion as well, because I, I felt to be thematically uh, consistent with the idea of the heavy. We also had to give him like max rate of fire, not just like high damage and decent rate of fire, uh, but a little bit higher rate of fire. Uh, overall, like the highest it could possibly go. So we're gonna see how this works out for us. Uh, we've had mixed results. Actually, yeah, no, I think we've had two successes actually uh, with the TF2 run so far. Uh, this is a run where we start with a lot of benefits, but again, just to refresh your memory, uh, the catch for these runs, obviously, is that we cannot please be the secret room. Well, sadly, no, but we got a bomb and a spirit heart regardless. Um, the catch is that we can't go to item rooms. Shops are still A-OK. -okay. Obviously, we can replace our spacebar item because there's nothing thematically tying the heavy to the D6. By any stretch of the imagination, we should actually give him something like Yum Heart or something so he has like a sandwich, but you know, that train has sailed, sadly. Uh, let's see what this pill does. Bombs are key, that doesn't really give us too much benefit here, in fact it might be a, a little bit of a curse, but hey, there's another bomb right there, so it's all good. Um, yeah, so I mean, it, it's gonna be interesting at the very least to, to see how this works out. Uh, there's other runs uh, in TF2 side of things that I will probably do in the future as well, but for now, let's just sit back uh, and enjoy our heavy run here. This is gonna be tricky. Because, oh, we managed to get away there. I, I was worried about the, the decreased range against an enemy where if it gets up close to you, it can cause some serious problems. Anyway, this guy should be dead. One more hit. He's gonna create a bomb. No big deal. We are almost back to full health because the game has been very kind of courteous or generous, I should say, uh, with its red hearts. That is gonna be a telepills, which is gonna take us directly to the boss room. That literally saved us one room. Actually, it might not have even saved us a room because I was going in this direction regardless. Uh, before we go fight the boss, I just want to come down here and we might as well uh, check out our last room, just in case you never know. Maybe there's a tinted rock or something in there. Having to take out two or one double spider is not that bad for the price of a penny. I think that's fair. And we will check for our secret room. Then we will fight the boss. And our D6, of course, is going to be available for use there. Um, other... Wow. I really thought that was going to be the secret room. Uh, other catches, of course. I cannot take something like a mom's knife or a brimstone. I think range upgrades should be okay. Um... Even though that kind of doesn't really jive with the, the heavy aesthetic or mechanic. Um, you know, it's it's an honest stats upgrade. Uh, but things like Mom's Knife, I don't know if those would necessarily apply. Uh, obviously, speed upgrades would apply as well. Uh, you know what? I mean, the thing is, it, it doesn't necessarily jive with the heavy aesthetic. But uh, sometimes you have to make compromises like that in order to create a run that has a chance of winning. If we're going to have a chance of winning this run, in all likelihood, we are going to need to get rid of uh, our low range at some point. But for now... We got some HP, we might not even run into any range upgrades, so there's no point in getting bent out of shape about it yet. Uh, and I haven't used my D6 yet, because I've had no need to. HP upgrades are always welcome. Uh, they're, they're like our, the standard good upgrade. I will never, even if I have 20 health, I will never look a, a gift horse in the mouth when it comes to HP upgrades. The only time you don't want HP upgrades is when you're in a situation uh, where you don't want to lose like permanent invincibility or permanent curse state. So, Demon Baby! Uh, very much fits in the heavy aesthetic. It's like having a little heavy buddy beside me uh, that only attacks things that are close by. So it's kind of an interesting coincidence that we managed to run into that. Here we are going to get the cube of meat. And the reason I fought the boss, obviously, is because the D6 was available. And with the D6 available now, uh, I thought maybe we could use it to reroll whatever we got from this boss. Obviously, since we're just going to end up getting uh, a cube of meat, that's not going to be the case. But instead, we might be able to use it to reroll a deal with the devil or something. With so much health by way of the uh, bucket of lard, I should absolutely be considering basically any possible upgrade we can get. Uh, you know, Spirit of the Knight's huge, Lord of the Pit's obviously huge. Uh, but even straight damage upgrades like the Pact and the Mark uh, are going to be something that I'm going to be paying very close attention to. Our fight versus Famine is basically done here. Thank you, Demon Baby, for doing some good work. I took damage because I'm an idiot, but we unlocked the deal with the Devil before I took damage. So, uh, I broke the game to a certain extent there. We get Spirit of the Knight, I'm going to take it, and then I'm going to reroll. Um, you know what? Let's take Book of Belial as well. I think that's going to make things interesting, and I won't have to worry about uh, managing the D6 for rerolls anymore. So we just spent a lot of health, but uh, we will have vastly increased damage, the ability to fly, the ability to have spectral tears, uh, and that's going to be awesome for us. Now we don't need to buy things like the ladder uh, or you know anything along those lines. But uh, anyway, that, it was a very expensive trip to the deal with the devil. I was very fortunate to have three hearts to give up in the first place, thanks to those Bucket of Lard uh, additions. We're going to get Cancer, which uh, is better than it sounds, shall we say. 
Uh, don't get that yet, because, yeah, that would have caused us to take damage. We'll take a Spirit Heart here for the price of a bomb. Fair enough. And everything's coming on Millhouse right now. That was terrible damage. That could have been even more terrible damage. The thing about Demon Baby is he's like an uncontrollable force, right? Like, I have no control over when Demon Baby shoots and where he shoots. So I gotta be a little cautious about that. But, you know, five health, considering the upgrades that we have, leaves us in a very good position uh, as time goes on here. I think we're gonna be okay. Uh, I, I, at the very least, I can't see any major problems happening with this run until maybe, you know, Necropolis, if we got into r some rough stuff in Necropolis. Otherwise, it's more than likely that we'll be okay until we get down to the womb. I'm thinking that very conservative estimate of uh, fighting Mom's Heart should definitely happen in this video, and maybe uh, a little bit further. I mean, Mom's Heart is a, a fairly conservative estimate regardless, because I get that on almost every single run. This Telepills could be valuable, you never know. Compass is fucking fantastic, and a perfect opportunity to use Book of Belial in this room as well. Which actually caused, uh, two waves of enemies to spawn instead of just the one, which is not necessarily a bad thing, because we'll be able to finish this room a little bit faster. Uh, and, you know, the honestly, the most dangerous part of these early mob trap rooms is enemies just spawning, like, right on top of you. So, to have them all spawn right away is actually okay by me. Now, there is a mini-boss somewhere on this level. Is it greed? Does it matter? I'm gonna fight it regardless. Um, I just don't want it to be the secret room, because if it is, then we're obviously not gonna get any extra money. But, you know, maybe it's better if we just play Judgment on this floor instead. We got a golden chest. Worth it. Why not? Let's try it out. Yeah, that's kind of shitty, actually. Uh, it's a shame that the poop takes so long to kill, because obviously this is gonna be, uh, very important for me to find some more money. Gotta go to these shops, gotta make Book of Belial a little bit, uh, better via the 9-volt nun's habit, etc, etc. Uh, this is going to be a just standard mini-boss room, which is awesome. Potentially, you know, a huge HP upgrade from Gluttony. Poison Touch, who knows? We'll obviously blow up this Tinted Rock right here. And everything is seriously coming up Millhouse as we get two Spirit Hearts right there. We're gonna be fighting Wrath. I'm gonna pop Book of Belial just because... You know, anything that speeds this up a little bit is okay by me. That was a very quick boss fight, and two bombs and a key is a fair trade for that. Now, if only we could get the map, I would be a, a happier camper, but I really can't complain otherwise uh, about how this floor has gone regardless. Let's telepills and see if we get anything lucky. Nope, just take into the item room. And I think we're just gonna go down to the next floor. You know what? Six cents. This seems like a fair play on Judgment. Anything could happen here. He could give us absolutely nothing. He could give us bombs and keys. He could give us an HP upgrade or some other better item. But uh, it's, it's worth a play in my opinion. Even if we lose the six cents, it's a gamble, but it's not a huge gamble. There we go. So at the very worst, we got a key for six cents. We overpaid for a key. And that's not the end of the world. One more play. All right, given this, I actually think it's fair to look for the secret room now to try to get more money. It's not there. So I'm really hoping it's going to be down here. If we get a little bit more money, maybe Judgment will pay out. Oh my god, where are these secret rooms, man? Alright, you win this one, Judgment. But I'll be back, and I'm gonna blow you and your family up every single fucking time that I see you. Uh, it's been a short, or not a short, a slow run so far. Uh, but hopefully that's gonna change now that we have incredible damage, decent health, decent spirit hearts, and some solid kind of tertiary upgrades by way of Demon Baby and stuff like that in the compass. I'm, I'm feeling very pleased with the way things are going so far, and uh, rightfully so, I feel. I always like to be appreciative when the game actually does things that work out in my favor, because it doesn't always happen that way, and I like to, you know, show my support. X-Ray Goggles, that's actually exactly what I was hoping for, because that basically gives us free access to all of these secret rooms. Fantastic for me. Um, that will allow us to get more money. We spend that money on judgments or the shop. Everyone's happy, uh, and who knows, maybe we find it. Uh, possible. There's a secret room right there. Maybe we find it possible to uh, be a little bit more successful as we move along. Especially like that money issue is going to be big. Uh, but maybe one up or something as well. Well, we have a fortune teller. It's tempting, but cancer's already like the best trinket I could possibly have. In my opinion, at least. Uh, so, I don't really know if that benefits me too much. We are obviously going to go to... God, that's so shitty that we just got a trinket there. I would, literally anything else would have been better. Uh, but again... I find it hard to complain with our current situation. At least the item rooms have been paying out good passive items, as opposed to last time when they were paying out bad active items, like the hourglass and stuff. Have I ever used the hourglass effectively when I had other options? I don't think so. Uh, obviously, I want to get that cancer trinket back. But for now, we're just going to worry about Isaac's fork. I mean, it's not a terrible trinket. Life steals okay. Uh, we got one cent for our troubles, which is not a whole heck of a lot, to be honest with you, but... We're done with this, and we might as well explore everything, because we're so powerful right now that, um, you know, we would be remiss if we didn't. We'd be missing out on advantages that should be easy enough for us to obtain. Judgment's awesome, we don't have the money necessary yet to make good use of him, uh, but maybe in the future, and obviously I want to come across some bombs so we can go to this, uh, or we can blow up that Tinted Rock. 
We still got a few rooms left. The more champions we come across, the better. Who knows? We get pennies or nickels dropped, and Bob's your uncle, and we are uh, sitting pretty with respect to our fiscal situation. Now, there's an extra penny there, and in here, three extra pennies. So now with seven cents and this many keys, the shop becomes a possibility. We might as well check it out at the very least. There's our second secret room as well. X-ray goggles get a bad rap, man. They're not a great item, uh, but they are a little underrated, I feel. So I don't know what I want to buy here. I might want to buy a bomb because it gives us access to that free tinted rock over there. Um, if there was an arcade, that would be beautiful because there's a ton of red hearts there. But you know what? Yeah, we'll buy the bomb. I can't really buy anything else except for that red heart, which is not important. Uh, and we'll just, again, continue to explore all of these rooms just on the off chance we come across something incredibly useful. I would love a speed upgrade. That's, I mean, health is always awesome. If I get a health upgrade from this boss or a cube of meat, I'd be happy because those obviously benefit us in some pretty clear ways. Um, but what is a little bit more unclear is, um, you know, how we're going to succeed with the inability to really dodge out of the way quickly. I kind of feel like a mini mush or something would really put me over the top with respect to this run. So I'm thinking, how am I going to use this Judgment card? I know I only have four cents and that seems super risky. I think what I'm going to do is actually pop down Judgment right next to uh, where the Tinted Rock is. There actually is a Blood Bank here. Uh, so here's what I'm thinking. We're, we're going to do a little bit of backtracking before we fight the boss on this floor. So we're going to play this. Oh, wow, that was really fast. Never mind. Backtracking unnecessary now. Free HP upgrade. I would have preferred to get some more money first, but uh, alas, we can't really deal too much with that now that we had that payout early. Hard to complain, though, about that situation. So I'm going to put Judgment down here. So if I give him four cents, he gives me nothing. I blow him and the Tinted Rock up. Pick up something uh, as a return on my investment, at least. He gave us another key. Not the end of the world. Uh, let's blow this up right now. Judgment did not blow up, weirdly enough. Uh, but we got a free damage upgrade. Which is beautiful for us, actually. The more damage we get, the better, obviously. And he gave us two more keys. So that judgment effectively gave us three keys of Orient R. Uh, that's okay. Even though we didn't pay out with an HP upgrade or anything like that, I appreciate it. Those keys allowed us to get a little bit more money and more bombs here. I should really stop spending so much money on shitty judgments, because it's making it impossible for me uh, to save money for the shop. I am obviously going to pop Book of Belial here. Given the rate of fire and the damage that we're doing, especially with the small rock now, Gertie is going to fall to pieces very quickly here, like a Scott Weiland joint. And with him being dead, or her being dead, I suppose I should say, uh, things are going to be very easy for us moving forwards. Another deal with the devil is actually in the works here. And with that HP upgrade, we have the potential absolutely to make good use of that. Ah, uh, yes, we should go Guppy's Paw. I love this. So now we're never going to get any more HP upgrades. That's okay, though. So we paid one heart. We're going to get, like, 21 spirit hearts as a result. Then we're going to roll Book of Belial. If we could only get Whore of Babylon or something, that would be beautiful as well. It might seem crazy that I'm still going with Book of Belial. Like, Guppy's Paw is also a solid choice here. Uh, because it puts us in a position, of course, where if I accidentally take some health, which is not outside the realm of possibility, of course, uh, then I could give myself some spirit hearts as well. There's a lot of, you know, strategic reasons that you could take Guppy's Paw, but anyway, I'm gonna roll with Book of Belial, and I'm gonna try to be very prudent about not taking Eternal Hearts and stuff like that accidentally. A little bit more, uh, cautious when it comes to taking pills and stuff like that, which is probably good advice, uh, you know, for everybody in general, outside of the Binding of Isaac as well. There's some interesting strategic implications on this run, and I have not taken any range upgrades, so I don't feel like I've betrayed the spirit of the run yet. Lots of hearts, no arcade on this floor, but we might find a blood bank randomly again. Alright, my best friend, garbage item. Sad that we had to waste a key to make that happen, but, you know, shit does happen. We are going to explore absolutely every single room. Like I said, it's been a slow run so far, uh, but that's okay, man. We're, do we're doing very well. And our slow runnage has actually put us in a position where we're doing better and better with each passing floor, which is really what you want with Isaac, obviously. I mean, that, uh, my best friend, is actually the first item room I think we've encountered that didn't actually benefit us substantially. So, in terms of items I want now, extra damage upgrades and, uh, rage would be fucking beautiful. Rage in particular, to have, like, insane base damage and... Oh, that was the worst damage I could have taken. Uh, and grow your damage consistently would be awesome. Um, you know what? I'm going to take these pills. It seems crazy, I know. Range up. Beautiful. Uh, the reason is, if we get more hearts, we'll probably earn more deals with the devil anyway. We did. Okay. Well, I, it's hard to be mad about uh, the exact situation I just implied happening. So I'm just going to pretend like that's exactly what I wanted. We're going to get some more money here. I didn't even have to F with the uh, rest of the mob trap room. And we're just going to move onwards. We got the steam sale here. It's not a great purchase, I feel, but it's a, a good purchase considering the steam sale itself was half price. Uh, so yeah, again, accruing upgrades. Uh, that health up could be terrible, could be awesome, could let us get something like, uh, 
I don't know, at this point, like maybe a pact or something, especially if we get another HP upgrade before the boss. Worst case scenario, if we get like a health upgrade from a boss and there's a deal with the devil, we'll just take the health upgrade and then take whatever we can from the deal with the devil. It doesn't have to be a great item. Because being, uh, but I mean, obviously Horror Babylon would be the, the ideal happy medium, the compromise between both of those options. In any case, I'm going to stop theory crafting about it because we're just going to see it happen in action soon regardless. And Steam Sale is actually a good pickup because now every shop from now on is going to be awesome. The range upgrade is beautiful and, you, you know, you could be forgiven for thinking I, I gave myself the luck foot or something. Uh, because we're getting very lucky so far on basically all fronts. But, Caves Part 2 boss, we're now starting to truck along a little bit faster. It's going to be Blue Chub, uh, who is going to create Silkworms. What is especially special about uh, Blue Chub? Maybe he just has more HP. Wouldn't surprise me. Seems pretty hardy considering we have Book of Belial and we're already doing incredible damage. But hey, that was easy. Pageant Boy gives us more money, including an extra nickel. And that means we should be financially stable for the next two shops. But we still have this red heart. I want to get rid of it or I want to build upon it. We shall see. Looks like we're only going to have one more shop because uh, when things get all slowed down like this, the uh, likelihood is that we are dealing with an XL floor on either the uh, Necropolis or the Depths. Hopefully the Depths. Fingers crossed for the Depths. Ah, oh, it's Necropolis. Well, two item rooms at least. Uh, and a lot of uh, opportunities to use this surplus of keys that I've created, which is fine by me. Lemon Mishap is garbage, obviously. We're just going to make our way down to uh, item room number two here. Where hopefully we'll find something a little bit better. What can I say? Once you get uh, a good spacebar item, the game seems to have a tendency to throw bad spacebar items at you. Just to test your resolve or something. And I realize this is likely a dead end here. But again, uh, I've gotten so many advantages just by exploring kind of exhaustively over the course of the game. All these like health upgrade pills, range upgrade pills. I'm a very lucky guy, what can I say? This is gonna be pseudo dead end. It's dead end because it doesn't help us get to the boss room or the um, other item room. But hey, it does let us get to that mob trap room. And who knows, maybe we'll find a secret room as well. Secret room could contain a one up or something. One up would obviously be very valuable for me. Uh, even though I am in a pretty good situation with respect to our own health, as you might expect. And Demon Baby is an unsung hero so far of this run. I'm very pleased. That was terrible damage. Uh, I'm very pleased so far with uh, the way the Demon Baby's worked out for me. But anyway, you know how this room's going to go. Uh, we don't have the range, unfortunately, to do this easily. So we had to push him into the fire totally by accident. I mean, totally intentionally. Uh, let's just run through these guys and uh, make our way to that mob trap room where hopefully there's something of value in there. We're getting a ton of keys. An absolute metric fuckton. People always make fun of metric fuckton. You don't realize that's what that's the metric measurement that comes after a meter. So I'm like 1.6 metric fucktons tall. That's the way we roll in Canada. You think we're the most polite country on earth? Go metric fuckton yourself. I was a little bit half baked, but you know, sometimes those jokes work, sometimes they don't. Yes, and I, I, if I did blow your mind there, that was a joke. I apologize if I uh, offended you in any way. This is a big ass floor, which you know is not to be unexpected. That was terrible damage. Uh, as was that. Uh, it's not to be unexpected, but, uh, you know, it always surprises me a little bit when I see that a floor is so labyrinthine. But, again, that was, uh, awful damage for the third or fourth time on this floor. Uh, but I'm doing a fairly exhaustive look here, just to see what we've got. You know, here we've got another, that was close, we've got another spirit heart in there, as well as some keys, so that paid for itself. Uh, and, and maybe, who knows, maybe a second small rock. I don't even know if that's possible, but the extra spirit heart probably... Uh, atones for the fact that I missed so many earlier. Okay, so there's one secret room. That's, again, awful damage. I'm pretty disappointed in myself for, for a lot of the damage that I've taken so far on this floor. Uh, the Halo of Flies, beautiful. That's gonna go a long way towards doing absolutely nothing. And we have finally found the point at which the level meets itself, uh, and we can easily get back to the, the meat of the environment here. Get to that second secret room. There actually is an arcade. Uh, not second secret room, second item room. Uh, well, obviously you want to go to the shop. I imagine we'll have a fairly high percentage chance of fighting Greed. Uh, because we haven't fought him yet and we have a decent amount of money. I hope that's not the case though, because if so, uh, shops have not been that valuable. I mean, I did just buy the Steam sale, so it would seem like kind of a waste. So, we're going to make our way over here. This might be the way that we just continue for the rest of the, the run in actuality. Because it's possible that the boss room is over here. One Leaper dead. And we're just going to stand over here for the rest of our time. Hit these hearts without putting ourselves into harm's way. Putting ourselves into heart's way, more like. You guys remember Heart's War with Bruce Willis and Colin Farrell? Neither do Bruce Willis or Colin Farrell. Uh, oh, don't! God, that was very close to me being hit there. Uh, I th you know what? I think this is the actual way to the boss and the, the shop. We get the toothpicks. That's a tears upgrade. I can live with that. 
Uh, I'm not sure if that gives us any extra damage, but we should be firing a little bit quicker. It seems to me like we're firing a little bit quicker. At the very least. Uh, let's get the fuck out of here, because I don't want to deal with any of this remaining shit. We got a secret room. That'll take us into the shop as well. Unicorn horn. Tempting! Tempting indeed, uh, but not that valuable. We are indeed fighting greed. Tempting in greed. Uh, sadly, that means, you know, all of the money that we've gotten so far. Basically worthless, unless we get a money equals power. Uh, devil room up here. And now we're just making our way to the boss, because it's so close. We might as well. Bombs are key. Not really worth using right now. Uh, so let's just move on. We're gonna fight two bosses here. I really wish we were not fighting bloat Because uh, I would love to use The um, uh, da -da -da -da, What am I even talking about here? I would love to use Our book of Belial against mom and that's what I'm gonna, gonna do But you know I expected it to be kind of an easier boss cat of nine tails garbage item for us to be encountering right now But hey, there is another um, wow, This is a very fast shooting there, but there is another tinted rock that I just got Hope I articulated my thoughts at least somewhat here. We're gonna be dealing with Blue Mom, uh, which is not my favorite, but, you know, in this situation, everything's gonna go really fast because, uh, we are doing an absolute fuck ton of damage. Don't laugh, it's a real measurement! One more barrage should be enough to take down Mom's heart. Or Mom here. Mom's heart is a totally different story. Looks like two more barrages, actually. And there we go, that was super easy. We get a speed upgrade, which I asked for, if you remember correctly. Uh, we do get the... Polaroid trinket, so we're gonna lose cancer. And our shots are a little bit less numerous now, or a little bit less frequent. But that's okay. You know, we're, we're already firing very, very quickly. Uh, and a lot. So, you know, losing the cancer trinket always hurts. But it's not the end of the world in this situation. We're gonna see, uh, again, obviously, my main priority is at this point losing this heart. So I can roll permanent invincibility now. Uh, hopefully we earn a deal with the devil here. Or, um, you know, just stacking up a ton of damage, because we're still, we're very good on damage, but we could be better. Justice is basically free key and bomb, and a penny, of course, which, who knows, may come in handy at some point. Same with the bombs or key pill, I'm basically just holding it because you never know, there might be a situational, uh, use for it at some point in the future, although I find that this is probably going to be unlikely. Uh, unless I'd seriously, like, run out of keys on the way to the chest. The thing is, bombs are more valuable right now, because we're gonna need those for mom's heart. Uh, but you don't need me to go down that song and dance again. Every key is valuable, of course. Uh, and we are gonna be able to go to our, uh, boss room very quickly, where we're probably gonna fight- I mean, it varies! You can fight the Fallen, we can fight Skolex. I don't know if Mask of Infamy can show up here. There's some difficult ones and some easier ones. We'll see. This laser's gotta die, obviously. And we got lucky to take that out before, uh, there was an intersection of these gluttony beams. Before Ant Flo came to visit, if you will, and free spirit hearts are always valuable. Death! Alright, well, you know what? At the very least, this is- I totally forgot that we had one, uh, cube of meat already, but this is gonna be our second cube of meat. Which is alright. I mean, another familiar. A demon baby, if you will, but slightly longer range, lower damage, and lower frequency. Uh, lower tiers, I guess I should say. It's all good. Uh, that is terrible damage for me to be taking in that situation. Please let the horse take out the zombie. Uh, the horse is now dead, and what's one more zombie? Fairly easy fight, although I did take some dumb damage. Hey! This is a good opportunity for us. One heart deal, please. Not Krampus. One heart deal. We're gonna take the quarter. I know it sounds crazy. By doing that, we get 25 extra cents, but mostly, we did that just to put ourselves in permanent invincibility. So, you know, taking that health upgrade did ended up giving us one quarter worth of benefit. Not really all that useful, but, you know, it, it, something at the very least. At least we got rid of it is my main... Uh, I would have loved the common cold or something. That would have been probably the highest value, one heart upgrade we could have gotten, because Mom's knife is, uh, not available to us under the conditions of this challenge run. These doppelgangers are gonna be super easy to deal with. Uh, we've gotta be on the right way to Mom's heart here, I mean... It seems like... It's gonna be a little bit more labyrinthine and twisty than I expected. More bombs is always good. 70 cents, who knows, man? Money equals power. Could show up at some point. No, it couldn't. Unless we fight the Fallen, which we can't, so... <laughs> That's, I think the money equals power train is over now. That's also one of those items that I very, very rarely see. It's not quite Sacred Heart or Sacred Tears territory, uh, but it is very, very infrequent. Which is, it makes sense. I mean, it's an incredibly powerful item, but I like money equals power. Because it completely, that was awful damage, completely changes the, the way you play the game. Because no longer are shops valuable. Anyway, this is Mom's Heart, so we're going to take out the lasers first. Then we're going to pop Book of Belial, then we're going to start getting into this uh, bomb. Gambit that we're gonna be dealing with continuously here and demon baby's gonna be doing some good work in his own right I appreciate that just don't hit the bombs too far away, uh, and I'll be a happy camper Monstro should die very quickly like now. Yep. There we go 
Drop some bombs in here and totally fuck it up. Thank you, Demon Baby. Ah, oh, and I took some damage against Larry Jr. That's embarrassing, quite frankly. Uh, keep these bombs going in here on these zombies. I love when the enemies catch the bombs. Like, that's that's the ideal circumstance. As we continue shooting a couple more bombs in here. That's another good one right there. That was a weird uh, pattern for those laser bullet flies to shoot out at. But anyway, we can fly so we don't have to worry about the creep. Mom's heart is dead. Easy fight. I can't tell how much HP we have left over. Now things are going to get tricky. You know, uh, I say this every single time we have a run similar to this when we come up here. But uh, Isaac, very difficult to fight when you have a high frequency... Fairly low damage tiers. I mean, our tiers are actually reasonable damage. Uh, but we're going to be shooting them so frequently that we're going to have an awful lot of dodging to do. Of course, the trade-off for that is uh, every time I get hit like that, I'm going to turn invincible. And I can just go stand next to him. Cube of Meat and Demon Baby will do some real damage. Yeah, there's potential for success here. I don't know. If we make it to the chest, as always, uh, I always say anything could happen. That was, again, some pretty piss-poor damage. Uh, I do want to finish this room. I, I have the option to just kind of back off. Uh, but might as well finish it. Maybe we get a spirit heart or something. You never know. I hate the head. The, the pony itself, not so bad. The head, real pain in the dick. That's why I'm trying to take out the pony first for seemingly no reason. Anyway, that was a waste of my time. Uh, that fortune teller could be valuable. I'm very pleased that I don't have, uh... I can't see my spirit hearts off the screen yet. That means we're probably in an okay situation. Now, if I'm trying to min-max, then I'm definitely playing the shit out of that fortune teller to get some spirit hearts. Uh, but as is right now, my time, as in like real world time, is more valuable than, than amassing a few extra spirit hearts. That was a terrible set of damage to take right there. Subset of damage to take, because I only got hit once. Um, now let's just be a little cautious here. These guys run into each other and do damage, I think. So with only one of them left, that's done. That went fairly well. Blood Bank is obviously out of the question. Let's go fight this dude. I feel like we're going to be okay here. And again, then we, we go down to the, the chest. We get some items. Anything could happen. Start putting some bombs in here while we're invincible. Uh, and every time we get hit, you know, 10% damage to him. It's a start, at the very least. Uh, doing some serious bullet hell style dodging here. Uh, and for once, I'm not being facetious when I say that. It's actually some fairly difficult dodging going on in there. We're about half dead. We've been hit twice, and we can see our spirit hearts now, so we're in kind of a harder spot. I am invincible right here, even though it appears that I am not. Really would love to take as little damage as possible over the next few seconds. We are in the, the third form of Isaac, which means this fight is going to be over. And I don't want to lose my TF2 winning streak with respect to beating the chest. But it, it's very much, uh, you know, it's something that's fluid and up in the air right now. Alright, Isaac's dead. Four angel fetuses remain. Did I take more damage there? I think I might have. That's unfortunate. Uh, one angel fetus remains. No angel fetuses remain. It's going to be tight. It all depends on these items right here. Maybe we can get something better than Book of Belial. Uh, Bean. That's not it. Money sack. Not it. Attack fly has the potential to be useful, but is also somewhat uh, variable. And laser. All right. So that's kind of garbage items to have at this point. Uh, you know what? I'm going to dip set out of this room and just try to make our way to the boss a little bit faster. Every enemy I fight, that's awful damage. Every enemy I fight increases our chances of uh, taking damage, which decreases our chances against Blue Baby. That's, again, awful damage. These guys are fucking quick. With only one left, I have no excuse to take damage. If these guys are champions. Please drop a spirit heart. If there's any kind of benevolent force in the universe, you will see... Uh, red heart! I could possibly beat Blue Baby with this amount of health, although it's gonna be tight. Pretty much everywhere, it's gonna be tight. Um, I can't take damage against these flies. I really just need Famine to die right now. Oh, he didn't hit me. Attack Fly is actually doing some good work. All right, now we're just fighting war. And that's less of a big deal. War can still be a pain in the ass with those shots like that that are going to be somewhat difficult for me to dodge. Attack Fly did some good work. Are we fast enough to get away? Are we a bad enough dude to not get killed by war? I think so. Health, please. Eh? That could be anything. Health up. I don't want to take it yet, though. Because it'll take away my permanent invincibility. But it's, I guess, one of those things that I could take uh, as we get into that blue baby fight. Maybe <laughs> taking the health upgrade. That was bad damage. Taking that health upgrade will be beneficial. At least give me, like, one more hit. Uh, we are fighting war again here. I don't know. This, assuming I don't take any more damage, this victory is a possibility. Probably an improbability. I almost got hit there. I probably deserved to get hit there, to be honest with you. Fuck it, let's do it. We got D6, or not D6, Book of Belial charged up. We're not going to get hit against War here. He's going to drop a live bomb. Thanks a lot for that. 
And we just gotta get ready to, uh, you know, be in a position to pop this. Um, I should stand closer so Demon Baby can do more damage, potentially. Um, yeah, be in a position to pop this uh, full health or health uphill when, when things get super dire. Uh, it's gonna be tight. I, I really wish I didn't take that damage there. One more hit means pop the health uphill. Oh man, that's not good. We have invincibility. I can just milk that for a second. Then pop the health uphill. Don't get hit for a second. We got two hits left. I believe. We can be hit one more time. Circular dodges. It's very tight. We're in the third phase. Angel fetuses. Oh, my favorite grunge band. Um, the angel fetuses out of Seattle. Oh, okay, this is going to be very, very close. There's my invincibility gone. The angel fetuses are not as dead as I needed them to be. Oh my god, it was so close. That was a good run though. Again, thank you to Maddie 2 cat and Shadow Fuse uh, for that heavy run suggestion and all the TF2 run suggestions. I'm probably going to do uh, yet another spell of them in the very near future. But again, thank you guys for watching. Continue suggesting your own challenge runs. Uh, I've been kind of interspersing uh, other challenge runs into these TF2 runs. And in any case, again, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.